Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and of course, Halloween. Today, we are breaking down and reacting to all of these shocking medical scenes and chilling injuries from some of your favorite horror films. Let's dive right in. Oh, jeez. That's gotta be Jason. Oh! Come on. Come on! Punch straight through the back. Not a wound that we see in the emergency department. The extraordinary amount of strength that that would take. We see back injuries. My back! Spinous process injuries. You have transverse process injuries, but then you also have vertebral body fractures. slammed into a tree. If your head hits the tree, you're gonna get significant amount of traumatic brain injury, intracranial bleeding, skull fractures, but also potential whiplash of the neck. Oh, jeez. Oh, what's happening? Oh, this has gotta be Freddy Krueger. <gasps> Obviously, you would not be able to be under the water like that and hold your breath that long. No, obviously this is probably a dream. Twas a dream. Yep, I knew it. His burned skin has that appearance. When people get burns, they have these ropey scars and it just has to do with the scarring of our tissue. You really have to keep it hydrated with a lot of different types of ointments and lotions and a lot of stretching. Typically when you're fighting, you can't hold your breath as long because you're using so much energy. If you're calm and relaxed and you can slow your body's activity down, you can hold your breath a lot longer. Freddy Krueger has this glove that has just got blades on it, potentially either had a laceration or a stab wound. If it's a laceration to a major blood vessel, you're going to bleed out in basically 30 seconds to a couple minutes. If you have a puncture wound, it's gonna take a lot longer, unless it's a puncture wound to your heart or to your aorta. Wow. Look at the water, it turns red really fast. Blood in water just gets so dilute and it just looks like a massive amount of bleeding, but it's actually not as much as you think. Joey. Treating people who've had near drownings, you're looking at your lungs, the heart, and making sure they're both functioning appropriately. A lot of times there's fluid in the lungs that are in the way of gas exchange. So when you put somebody on the ventilator, you're actually causing positive pressure into the lungs. So it's manually forcing the water out. Oh, Halloween. Michael Myers, oh geez. Oh, the noise. Typically, Michael Myers always uses a big, huge kitchen knife. So I'm assuming big, huge kitchen knife to the abdomen. What major structures do you have to worry about? Most of it is just intestines. It's your omentum, which covers the intestines. And then behind that is major blood vessels in the spine. electrocution injuries, it depends basically on the amount of energy. Obviously this looks like a lot. You're having flex contractions. Typically that is AC current that's causing that. Whoa. Foaming of the mouth, I think, is more for dramatic effects. Typically, you see foaming of the mouth. Somebody is really dry. You're water hungry. You see that a lot with rabies. Come on, come on. Come on! No. What actually happens Why you die from electrocution? Typically it's a cardiac arrest. You're burning your nerves, you're burning the tissue, you're causing rhabdomyolysis. If there's enough energy, could something explode maybe, but I've never seen it, nor would you come to the emergency department because you're dead. Oh jeez. Oh, I knew it was scream. Those blonde tips, that's what gave it away. Oh, jeez. Right to the neck. 
Oh, right side of the neck. What structures do you worry about? The carotid and the jugular. Your internal jugular vein is basically a big blood vessel that sits more superficial to the skin and behind it is your artery and the carotid artery sits there pumping tons of blood. The fact that blood is coming out of his mouth makes absolutely no sense. That don't make no sense. Because that blade is actually not anywhere close to the oropharynx, to the trachea, to the esophagus. Come on. Come on. Scream, people. You guys need me to help you advise what would actually happen. This color of the blood is super dark. Venous blood is quite dark, but it's not that crazy dark. That wound could even miss the major blood vessels there. It could actually go lateral to them, lateral meeting to the outside. I'm kind of disappointed. Disappointed. You'd have to go more midline and then go on a lateral angle to have that go out where it is. To feel someone's pulse, you have to push on this part of the neck. If you have your trachea, it's going directly laterally to it over on this side. What the heck is this? <gasps> it's Chucky! Oh my gosh, that little rag doll. He's got all these lacerations that are healed and stitched together. Obviously, if a human had a laceration to their face, you want to stitch them together using about a 6-0 to 7-0 size nylon type of material. And you only want it in the face for about five days. <laughs> oh, we got some chemicals. Oh, a sulfuric acid. Obviously, it's going to cause some burning. Ow. Melted away. Yep, there we go. Whoa, intense. <laughs> Typically, if you have an acid that's causing injuries, you need to try to neutralize it or get a base on there. Just to get a base. If this happens, we actually call poison control to give advice of exactly what to do because there's toxicologists there 24-7. If you ever need to call poison control and you're in the United States, it's 1-800-222-1222. <laughs> Treatment for most acid burns is just irrigation with water for 15 to 30 minutes. Get rid of anything that's contaminant and a lot, a lot of water and then get to the hospital ASAP. Oh my God, he's taking photos. Say cheese. Could it actually kill somebody? If I guess there was enough of a dose, high enough potency, and it eroded through major blood vessels, then yes. But that amount of soft tissue injury just to the face would not actually kill you. Who is your favorite scary movie character? I wanna know. I hope you guys took away some educational components and what to do in the future if any of these type of injuries cross your path. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.